Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Friends, today I want to talk to you about a new field in which uh, there is a lot of startups which are uh, taking um, an active part and some of them, at least one of them has snagged collaboration with two big uh, pharma companies uh, and it's exciting. All of you have known about mRNA because we saw the mRNA vaccines in action during COVID. In fact, two of the scientists instrumental in that got the Nobel uh, Prize and um, the technology I'm going to talk about today is just an advancement of the same, and it's called as SARNA. So let's go forward, and uh, I'll explain to you everything. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. SARNA stands for Self Amplifying RNA, and um, the way I would explain this to you is that we all know that mRNA gets translated into protein in the body. A protein is basically an antigen. So the way a vaccine works is that when you are given an mRNA vaccine, the mRNA once inside the body is translated into a protein and that protein is the signature of the virus and therefore the human immune system gets exposure to the antigen or the protein of the virus and starts to develop a, a memory and antibodies to counteract that protein and therefore when the actual virus gets into the body the body is already primed and ready to tackle it and you don't get illness this is the function of mrna and in the body naturally what happens is that when the body needs uh, certain things to be done uh, the cell tells the uh, dna uh, that a particular uh, protein is needed the dna finds the appropriate uh, gene uh, in itself and a copy of the gene is thrown out and that copy of the gene is called the mRNA and the mRNA is then processed by uh, tRNA and uh, that creates uh, a protein. So this is what mRNA is in its natural form before we learned about mRNA vaccines and other things. Then the scientists got the brilliant idea that why not make synthetic mRNA and put it into the body so that we can uh, send the mRNA to the body and the body can create uh, the protein that is necessary. Now, this particular mechanism can help uh, in two cases. One is to help uh, metabolic diseases where a particular protein is in short supply. So mRNA uh, therapy can be used. The other is to uh, create the protein or antigen which is a signature of a virus uh, inside our body so that our body can learn to create antibodies for that uh, antigen so that when the virus actually attacks the body the body is fully ready and it can knock the virus out so this is where mrna was used now the way i would explain sarna is that uh, assume mrna to uh, to be a printed sheet of paper uh, instead of me uh, taking thousand copies of uh, that printed sheet of paper to somebody. What I'm doing these days is that uh, I am sending them a PDF and I'm asking them to print it out. So they have got a printer and they can print thousand copies, right? So SARNA is like the mRNA vaccine, but instead of sending the mRNA into the body, you are sending a blueprint, uh, which, is, which has got the ability to create multiple copies and you're sending a replicator along with it like a photocopier. So once it goes into the body, the photocopier gets started and it cranks out RNA, multiple copies of the RNA. So you have to give a smaller dose for multiple uh, uh, mRNAs to come out and those mRNAs create protein antigens and it's amplified. That's why it is self-amplifying RNA. So that's why we call it SARNA. So this is what SARNA is about. And uh, the field is young. And as per Venture Radar, there are six top SARNA companies and you can see them here. One is uh, Vax Equity and uh, the other is uh, Chimeron uh, Bio and then we have uh, MINA Therapeutics, Nature's Toolbox, Sarna Finance and 20 Med Therape Therapeutics. So I think Sarna Finance is not... Um, uh, SARNA company, so we'll leave this. I think uh, AI must have picked this up. But there are five of these companies. Of these, mRNA, uh, 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 MINA Therapeutics uh, is the one which has got um, collaborations. Uh, they snagged a collaboration with um, uh, Eli Lilly uh, somewhere on May 15, 2021, and we did not pay attention to this. We didn't even know about it. So they have signed up to study up to five targets specified by Eli Lilly. 
And for this, they got a $25 uh, million dollar down payment, uh, upfront payment, and then they have been given uh, a commitment for $245 million per target on meeting the milestones for each of those targets. So this is a uh, big deal. They also seem to have a deal signed up in January 2020 uh, with AstraZeneca, which is also a British company, basically, and uh, the UK Biotech, and they signed up a, uh, a deal. I think the financial details are not available here. Uh, it, in this paragraph, it says, in the last few years, big pharma such as AstraZeneca have begun to show interest in the field of RNA. This was helped by the first RNAi uh, drug therapy. Uh, one example of big pharma entering the field is Novartis, which recently announced that it will spend 8.8 .8 billion euros to acquire medicines company along with its experimental RNAi uh, drug, Inslicilan, uh, for the treatment of cardiovascular disease. In contrast to RNAi, no SA RNA therapies have been approved yet. MINA Therapeutics is one of the most advanced companies in the field with its lead candidate in phase 1B trial for the treatment of liver cancer. So uh, AstraZeneca has tied up with them and um, their idea is to uh, target metabolic diseases uh, uh, which are currently unreachable by current medications. So that's what um, they have said here. So friends, uh, as this uh, technology becomes more and more um, reliable and uh, tested, I think it's going to be the next stage for mRNA, uh, uh, mRNA therapies. So future vaccines, probably five years down the line, might all be saRNA vaccines, and they will amplify themselves, and it will be uh, advanced technology uh, deployed. So uh, there is a lot of changes happening in our field and we need to keep on watching out what's happening around the place. Uh, all the companies that we have in our watch list are focused on CRISPR uh, and um, now we have added AI to our uh, watch list. Uh, but at the same time in biotech also we have to look at all the emerging sectors where there are venture capitalists putting money and uh, startup companies which are tying up with big pharma because that's another place where uh, that could be future wave of value creation. With that, my friend, I would like to end this uh, video and I'll catch up with you again uh, in the next video. Bye for now.